this video we're going to take a look at an introduction to parametric equations. So we can express x and y in terms of a third variable, which we call a parameter, and typically we use t for the parameter. So for example here, I might have a curve, and that could be defined as x equals p of t. So x equals p of t here. And then for y, we can express this here as q of t. Okay? So the values of t here define a point on the curve with coordinates p of t. So let's just write this down. p of t here. And for my y coordinate, that would simply be q of t. Okay. The key point here is x and y being expressed in terms of a third variable. We're using the parameter t here to do that. And we can also easily convert between parametric equations and Cartesian equations by using substitution. And we'll see that in a moment for the practice question. And then finally here, if we've got x equals p of t and y equals q of t here, so just this um, curve here, then if we have Cartesian equation y equals f of x, then for the domain of f of x, let's just write this down here. So for the domain of f of x, this is equal to the range of p of t. Okay, so this is the range of p of t and then for the range of f of x here so for the range of f of x and you might have already guessed it this will be the range of q of t okay so that's the range of q of t okay there we have it. So that's everything we need there for our introduction to parametric equations. So what we're going to do now is just take a look at a quick practice question for parametric equations. So if we just take a look at this practice question here, I've got a curve C which has parametric equations of x equals t plus 3 and y equals t squared plus 2. And we can see the values here that we define these parametric equations here for, for t. And we're to find a Cartesian equation of the curve C in the form y equals f of x. So where do we begin here? Well, like we said in the introduction, if we now want to find the Cartesian equation of our curve C here, which is defined parametrically, then we need to use substitution here. So, because we're looking for the curve C here in the form y equals f of x, then it makes sense here, take this equation here for x, rearrange it and make t the subject, and substitute t then into this equation here for y. Okay? So we begin here with x equals t plus 3. So now let's make t the subject here, so that should hopefully be nice and straightforward. In that case then, we'll get t is equal to x minus 3. And what we're going to do now is substitute this here into my equation for y. Okay, so y is equal to t squared. We're just replacing that t squared then with x minus 3 squared. And don't forget the plus 2. So in that case then, y is equal to x minus 3 all squared plus 2. What we need to do now is just evaluate this here, the right hand side. So in that case then, y is equal, so double brackets here, that would be x squared. We get x squared. I'm going to get minus 3x and then another minus 3x here, so in total we'll get minus 6x. Get minus 6x and minus 3 times minus 3 would give me positive 9. We get plus 9. And don't forget the plus 2 here. And again, if we just simplify now the right-hand side one more time here, then we get y is equal to x squared. Can't do anything with that. Minus 6x, again, we can't do anything with that. Then 9 plus 2 here, and that would give us 11. Okay. And there we have it. Now it's in the form y equals f of x here. So my right-hand side is just in terms of x. And that's exactly what we need here, okay? And there we have it, so that would be the solution then to that practice question. And that would bring us to the end of this video on an introduction to parametric equations. But in the next video, we're going to take a look at trig identities with parametric equations.